after nine it happened again and killing two innocent children two innocent children just sitting there and persons coming and but shot please messiah put down the guns we need peace there's persons elderly persons that need to sleep and they can't sleep there's elderly persons they in their home and gunshots enter in their home give us a chance give the elderly people a chance you're too young messiah give that a chance Blood continued to flow through the drains of Church Street in Denry on Tuesday morning, where the night before, the dead bodies of two young men lay riddled with bullets. On Wheat Monday, a day dedicated to praying and fasting, the streets ran red with the blood of two of the nation's youth. Dead is 19-year-old Daniel Prosper, alias Cesario, and 28-year-old Thomas Florent, alias Cole, both of Denry Village. I'm the mother of victim Thomas Flora. And what is going on now in the community, I feel it's not good enough. Young men just passing and kill other young men for what? For no reason whatsoever. The mother of Thomas Florent recounts the fateful night and the pain and anguish of seeing her son gunned down in cold blood in her very presence. I was sitting there with my son and seeing my son dying at the, in my own presence. It's not good. And I carried that boy nine months regardless of how he was living his life. He don't deserve that. And he bad to some, but he is good to some. And that's, that's just the way it is. A resident of the community laments the sorry state of affairs in Denry that has taken a toll on her everyday routine. It is very scary for me, as I tell you. I not to, I used to sit at night, but I'm not doing it again. It is very scary. It is very, very scary. Very scary. The elderly woman who lives in proximity to the scene of the crime recounts the traumatic event that sent her scurrying for cover when a hail of bullets shattered the Monday night silence. Last night when I heard the, the, when I heard the gunshot, it was right in the area by me there. Um, I was already inside my bedroom. So then I rolled down on the floor to protect myself. That's why I protect myself. But it was, it was already... The bullets had already pierced in the, in the inside my house. It had already gone through. So then I was, I was afraid last night because I didn't want sleep. I was afraid. To tell you the truth, I was afraid. I was afraid. Law enforcement reportedly suspects multiple shooters opened fire on the pair, who both succumbed at the scene. The bloody aftermath of the shocking shooting was captured and circulated on social media. The elderly resident delivered some words to the youth embroiled in gangster lifestyle. To use guns like that, it is not good. But we as a church, we as a people, individual, we are praying for them, for them, for that to cease and to put down the guns, for, to, to put down the guns, what are, whatever ammunition they're using, whatever weapon they're using to put it down. There have been five homicides in Denry so far this year, three of which committed in the month of May 2021. On Sunday, May 9th, Josiah Girau was gunned down at Truole Denry. Now, the double homicide of Daniel Prosper and Thomas Flora on Monday, May 24th, took the homicide toll on St. Lucia to 26. Sula Jalford, HTS News Force.